Kaylin. I'm Dr. Malloy. I'm a nurse practitioner and today we're going to conduct an abdominal exam. So to begin, I'm going to inspect your abdomen and I'm noting for the presence of uh, pulsations, any skin discolorations, any hernias or masses, and I don't see any, your skin and the belly is smooth without discolorations and your belly is flat. Next, I'm going to auscultate for bowel sounds. So we're going to work our way clockwise, starting from the right lower quad to the right upper quad, the left upper quad, and the left lower quadrant. And while I'm here, I'm also going to auscultate for vascular sound at the aorta, the renal, and you're trying to listen for brewery, the iliac, as well as the femoral. Okay, and I don't hear any brewery. And normally our client won't have any shirt on, for, but for the purpose of this demonstration, we'll have him keep his shirt on. After our auscultation, we're going to next percuss the belly, again working our way clockwise. And it is tympanic. Next, we're going to palpate the belly. So first, light palpation just to note any areas of tenderness does anything hurt no and this time with deep palpation okay and i'm just going to feel your liver so if you can take a deep breath okay and next i'm going to Inspect palpate for kidneys using the duct motion. So, and I'm going to do the same here. And then feel for your spleen. Okay. And I don't feel any um, enlargement of your spleen, and that's the expected finding. So, if you can just sit up. One of the steps that we do right after the examination of the posterior thorax is to assess for costal vertebral angle tenderness. So I'm going to do that now and I'm just going to, and if you can just face the wall so they can visualize the process. I'm just going to tap on his back at the costal vertebral angle. Did that hurt? And I'm repeating the motion. Did that hurt? No. Okay. So that concludes our abdominal exam. Do you have any questions for me? No. Thank you, Kaylin.